New research at the Viminatium site in eastern Serbia, once capital of the Roman province of Misha Superior, has made a remarkable find. As soon as archaeologists began their latest exploration of the city, they came across a unique object known as a wind chime house guard, in the shape of a winged phallus that served as a charm. Such objects, which were hung near the doorways of houses and shops, were believed to serve as magical protection for the premises. This one was discovered on the porch of a large home on a main street in Viminatium, an ancient Roman city, the extensive ruins of which now lie near the Serbian town of Kostelak, about 30 miles, 50 kilometers, east of Belgrade. The building was destroyed in a fire, during which the porch collapsed and fell to the ground, Elija Dankovic, an archaeologist at the Institute of Archaeology in Belgrade, told the Serbian language website Save O Archaeologijai. Tintinabulums were designed to catch the wind, supposedly so their noise and unusual appearance would frighten off evil spirits and ward off the curse of the evil eye, which was greatly feared in antiquity. Viminatium was the civil and military capital of Rome's Upper Misha province from the 1st to 5th centuries, until it was sacked by the Huns under Attila in 441. The city was rebuilt under the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, but it was finally destroyed by invading Slavs in about 535. This is the second Tintinabulum found in the ruins, Dankovic told Life Science. The first is now in a private collection in Austria, nothing is known about its discovery, he said. However, the newly discovered Tintinabulum was discovered in its full archaeological context. As soon as we started uncovering it, we knew immediately what we had discovered, he said. The latest Tintinabulum from Viminatium is made of bronze, but it is being kept surrounded by soil until it can be properly restored. As a result, its exact configuration isn't known. But it is centered on a fascinum, a portrayal of a magical phallus, with two legs, wings and a tail, he said. Judging by what can be seen, it had four bells in the chain from which it hung, Dankovic said, adding that there also seem to be other elements to the design not seen on other tintinabulums. The symbol of a phallus wasn't always erotic or obscene for the ancient Romans, Dankovic said. It was a bringer of good fortune and happiness, and an efficient weapon to combat the evil eye, he said. For this reason, phalluses can be seen everywhere in the Roman world, from wine cups to the amulets worn by children. He added that the symbol was often publicly displayed to summon prosperity and deter thieves. The discovery of the Tintinabulum is evidence that Viminatium was in every sense a part of the Roman world, Dankovic said. Not only did its people share many Roman beliefs, he said, but it's likely that the Tintinabulum was imported from elsewhere in the empire, showing that there were social elites at Viminatium who were willing to pay a significant amount of money for such an object. Ken Dark, an archaeologist and historian at King's College London who wasn't involved in the discovery, said the Viminatium Tintinabulum was a type of apotropaic amulet that was designed to ward off evil influences and give protection to people or their property. Such amulets were common in the Roman world, and these sometimes took forms which would seem very strange or even comical to us today.